So what is going on guys? Welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today is another ability comparison video and we're going to be taking a look at the Chompers Spike Weed and Spiky Spike Weed abilities. Now if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like down below. It does show me that you do enjoy these videos and that you do want to see some more of them. And also leave in the comment section down below what abilities you would like me to cover next week on my ability comparison series. Now like I did say, we are going to be taking a look at the Spike Weed and the Spiky Spike Weed in today's video I'm going to be giving you the pros and cons of each one of these abilities breaking them down and then telling you which one I prefer to use in the game so anyway let's get straight into with today's video so the first thing we always do in these ability comparison videos is take a look at the descriptions of these abilities so spike weed it says laying spike weed traps is a great way to ambush zombies if they walk over the spike weed they'll get ensnared and are easy to chomp and the spiky spike weed says the spiky spike weed deals more damage to the zombies it ensnares but only a few can be deployed at a time so as you can see from the description the spike weed is just your standard spike weed now the spiky spike weed you can deploy less of them but each one of them deals more damage so that is the information about the two abilities one thing that they have changed in garden warfare 2 is that actually when a zombie walks into the spike weed they are just stood there they cannot move and it no matter where the chomper is facing they are able to swallow them whereas in garden warfare 1 the zombie actually got flipped upside down when it got caught in the spike weed but the chomper still had to be behind the zombie to be able to swallow them so in garden warfare 2 it doesn't matter what direction the chomper is facing they will be able to swallow the zombie instantly if they are trapped in the spike weed so next we're going to want to know how much damage these two abilities do to the zombies well the normal spike weed does 25 damage twice to the zombies so that means if a zombie does get trapped in the spike weed it's going to get hit with damage twice now this can be different because of course if a scientist is healing them at the time it's not going to take 50 damage straight off the zombie and also if another zombie actually destroys the spike weed before it does the second batch of damage you're not going to deal as much to it the zombie but more than likely you are going to deal 50 damage to the zombie now with the spiky spike weed it actually deals 35 damage twice so that in total will deal 70 damage the only downside to the spiky spike weed is that it has red thorns and also red eyes so for a zombie player it's much easier to see the spiky spike weed on the ground so if a zombie does get caught you're going to deal more damage to them but you're less likely to have a zombie walking into the spike weed in the game also one of the thing you're going to want to know about these two abilities is that you can actually place four standard spike weeds down on the ground at any one time whereas the spiky spike weeds you can only place two of them so that means that you can have four standard spike weeds scattered around the map more likely to get zombies snared in them and the spiky spike weeds you can only have two of them so that is one other thing that you are going to want to know if you are deciding on which of these abilities you want to use and the final bit of information that we do have about these abilities is the recharging time of these abilities and it actually takes one minute for both the spike weed and the spiky spike weed to recharge one of the abilities so you can place another one down on the ground now for games like team vanquish a minute is quite a long time so you're only going to be able to get a couple of them out in a game of team vanquish i think on average each game lasts for about six minutes so you're not going to be able to put too many of those down in the game whereas on garden ops you can put the game out as long as you want so I kind of feel like different game modes will have different uses for specific abilities more objective based game modes you may want to use more of the spiky spike weeds even though you can't put as many down you know you're going to be able to have the time to uh, let your abilities recharge and place most of those down but overall my opinion is that I do prefer to use the standard spike weed I like to scatter more of them around my games I don't really play garden ops too much but if I was going to play garden ops I would also use the standard and spike weed because I can actually put four of them around the garden which means that I'm less likely to get the garden attacked and also if a zombie hero or zombie champion walks into the spike weed I'm going to be able to swallow them very easy as well now as far as multiplayer goes I would still stick with using the standard spike weeds I like to play objective game modes like gnome bomb and suburbanation so I could actually put four of the standard spike weeds down a gnome bomb or suburbanation rather than just putting two spiky spike weeds down and 
although they deal less damage, I still feel like I'm going to have a high chance of being able to get a Vanquish with the standard Spike Weed because there's going to be more of them around, there's more likely for a zombie to walk into one, and uh, that's giving me the higher chance to get a Vanquish in the game but that is my opinion of these two abilities let me know yours in the comment section down below and if you did enjoy today's video make sure you do leave a like down below like i did say at the start of the video as well leave your comments down below of what ability you would like me to compare next week and uh, hopefully i'll catch you guys next time